In this video, we're going to be working on an iPhone 6S Plus that came in for no power. Customer is a repair shop. They sent three phones here. One of them is this particular phone. Customer said the phone is constantly charging at 0.4 amps. Even if you power the phone on, amperage being run is the same. The phone does not power on. Battery is not being charged. And when you plug the phone into iTunes, iTunes cannot see the phone and the phone is not being recognized by the computer. As far as I can tell, based on the information the customer gave us, we're going to go ahead and replace the TriStar chip as the customer requested. And hopefully the phone will go back to working condition. A good healthy phone will power on at 0.2 amps, slightly go up 0.35, 0.9, maybe 1.2, and then go back down to 0 0.3, 0 0.4. We're going to also be using hot tweezers to desolder the solder balls of the TriStar pads. So let's see how that is done and how we go about changing the TriStar chip on this phone. So that's front of the board where the screen connects. We're going to flip the board. And all the way down on the bottom, we're going to remove this black shield here. And there goes our TriStar chip right over here. Phone is not recognized by iTunes and it's not a charging port issue. We're going to change the TriStar chip, do this as quick as possible without wasting too much time. Unplug those cables so we do not burn them out. Flux helps with the process of desoldering. We can simply remove this IC without adding flux, but flux just makes solder flow better and it's going to make the process easier. Preheat from far. And what I'm doing is pointing the hot air away from the NAND chip. The NAND chip is up on the left. And the TriStar chip is out. Let's go ahead and apply leaded solder so we can mix it with unleaded. That way when we wick the solder balls off the board, we do not rip any pads off. And we're going to use our hot tweezers method along with the wick to get rid of those solder balls. Let's get rid of the glare and apply some leaded solder. Okay, so that's it. All the solder balls are raked off the board. Everything is looking good. Let's clean up, just make sure everything is good. The nice thing about the hot tweezers method is you do not have to worry about knocking off neighboring components. Now all we have to do is grab a TriStar chip, solder it in place and test.
All we have to do is heat up and the job is done. Job is done. And now, what I'm going to do is use our power supply to inject voltage and turn on this board. So, right over here, we're going to plug the battery. And we're going to plug the charging port. Power supply on. We have it on 5 volts. And let's turn the phone on. So we're going to turn it on and monitor our power supply. And look at that. The phone turned on. We see amps being drawn right now. Let's wait and see. 0 0.15, 0 0.226, 0 0.3. It's going up. It's going to go up when it boots, and then it's going to settle down. 0 0.4 0 0.7 0 0.8 very good the phone is booting up the phone is working i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from us in the future leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video